Howdy folks, Travis here with Coyote Moon Creative, your Squarespace web designer. Um, I'm here to chat with you today about a couple things. The first one is categorization of products. So how to organize um, the categories and tags and nested categories so that your customers have an easier time finding your products, um, reducing the friction that it takes for them to get to the cart and make a purchase. So that's gonna be one of the topics. The other one is a code customization for sticky uh, category navigation. And so I'm gonna show you first how to do, how to set up nested uh, categories. Cause a lot of people might not know that Squarespace offers that. So historically Squarespace only offered displaying categories on a page. Um, but now you can actually drag a category within a category, meaning um, in this instance, you know, we're selling sunglasses. So one of the, uh, the high level category is frame size. And then the nested categories within frame size are going to be small fit, medium fit, and large fit. So let's jump right in, take a look how to set up those nested categories. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your shop page. Um, and that can be accessed right here. Click into the shop page. Click this little sundial uh, settings icon, which is essentially the nuts and bolts back end of the shop page. When I click into that, I've got this category section on the left hand nav. Click into categories and you'll see that I already have this frame size set up with nested categories, small, medium and large. If we wanted to set up another nested category, we could title it something like lens technology, right? For sunglasses. And now we've got the parent category. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna nest categories within that. So I'm gonna say TAC polarized lenses. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one more and I'm gonna title it, uh, let's just say polycarbonate. Now we've got parent and we've got nested child categories, tack polarized polycarbonate. So it's super simple, but always not always intuitive that essentially you're just dragging and dropping that into the parent. So the first is gonna be tack. And you'll see that automatically Squarespace has created a parent and a nested category. Do the same thing for polycarbonate. And now what we have on the page is lens technology. And when we click into lens technology, we've got TAC polarized and polycarbonate. One limitation I will say working with Squarespace e-commerce is that um, I was talking with the support team yesterday and they actually don't have the feature that allows you to display um, both the category and the nested category from the uh, products list page, the products landing page. And what I mean by that is if we go back to our shop page, um, these top two lens technology and frame size actually are parents with nested categories, but Squarespace won't allow us to display um, polarized tack polycarbonate lenses from this page. You actually have to click in to see those options. Um, so hopefully that, you know, eliminates having to reach out to support. That is not a feature. Uh, put it in as a feature request if you can. I did. Um, it really helps the engineers and the development team kind of get a long running list of the important uh, features that they should be working on for e-commerce customers. Okay, so that's the first uh, part of this video. So next we are going to hop back into, and I'm actually just going to delete those categories because um, for this particular um, website, I do not need this category. Okay. So now we're back to the original. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, um, and I'll kind of show you what this looks like to begin with. So the built-in functionality of Squarespace does not allow for the category navigation here on the left to uh, remain sticky as you scroll down the page. Um, and it's kind of a bummer because in this particular instance, I have, you know, upwards of 30 sunglasses 
And as they scroll down that page, those um, categories on the left-hand sidebar, they disappear. And so I would have to scroll back up to see frame size, winter, sport, fashion, exotic. Um, so this custom code solution is going to create a sticky sidebar category navigation so that when you scroll down the page, the frame size stays sticky as you scroll. So let's jump in and take a look at the code. Okay, so the first step is you're going to want to access your CSS editor. The next step is you're going to want to copy and paste this code. This basically is just targeting the products collection, content wrapper, nested category tree wrapper. So that's targeting both the parent and any nested categories underneath it. And what that means is that when we get to the nested category page, it will also remain sticky. Um, so that's what we're targeting right here. And the position is sticky. And this top 200 PX, that's just essentially the margin between um, the top of this first category and essentially this line below the category title. And what we have resulting is a nice, smooth, sticky category navigation that just makes it easier when you're scrolling through multiple product types, multiple, multiple different sunglass models for your customers to really hone in and say, oh, actually, I want to take a look at the frame size. Um, you know, I want to focus in on winter goggles, fashion, exotic, etc. So simple uh, code snippet that really elevates your products page. So I hope you guys found this one useful. If you have any questions, as always, email me at travis at coyotemooncreative.com. Happy to chat shop with you about any e-commerce store questions you have. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.